Well, hey, I wasn't sure if I should do this or not, but then I thought, you know, I always talk about how <clears throat> I'm honest and straightforward, and I talk about things, <clears throat> excuse me, that other people very often don't want to talk about, that other people hide. So, if you've been following me at all, you know that about, how long ago, um, almost three years ago, I lost almost 50 pounds. And um, I was keeping it off really well. And then, I guess, very slowly, during quarantine, started putting on just a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight, and then I got sick a few times, um, particularly since last summer. And what happened is I discovered that I was being challenged by things that I had never really dealt with. You know, um, the main emphasis of the lifestyle change that I used to help me lose weight is, it happens up here, it's changing your habits, changing the lifestyle that you used to lead that caused you to gain all kinds of weight. And oh, golly, you know, I was just doing great for um, how long? Over two, two and a half years, I guess. And then what happened is when I got sick, I had like sort of upper respiratory, uh, just, you know, kind of crud. And I felt so horrible. And I was on all kinds of medications and stuff that... What made me feel better, now this is really true, what made me feel better physically because of post-nasal drip, which made a sore throat. If I was eating food, you know, then it helped to ease a lot of the post-nasal drip symptoms. You know, that was true. But I felt so bad for so long that I went back to an old habit that I had, which was Certain foods make me feel good in the moment. And that's what I wanted. I just wanted, you know, a few moments to feel good. And I sort of lost sight of my overall plan. And it was because, you know, I was feeling sick so much. Now, I have been sick um, in, in the two and a half years before that. But I guess I, you know, I hadn't been that sick as I was in um, the few months uh, this past fall and winter. And I was okay. I was able to deal with it previously. But, you know, this stuff was more than I could handle. Um, and, you know, I see that some people are... Or watching and if you can relate to this you know please <laughs> give me a you know thumbs up or something now those of you who have been following me know that that okay see this this was not something that I've been carrying around for two and a half years and suddenly in the last oh what let's see I guess going on maybe 10 months or something, it's slowly, slowly, this padding has built up. And also, <laughs> talk about padding. The funny thing is, okay, back when I, when I had lost um, my weight, I was like a, si a small size six. I could even get into some size fours, but really size six. Now, I'm wearing a lady's small shirt, and these are size eight jeans. Now, yeah, you know, they have spandex in them, just like most jeans do these days. Um, but 
you know, they're about as tight as they get. Okay, I'll tell you how I knew that I had reached the point where I had to do something. I had bought a larger size underpants than what I had been wearing. Um, I think I was wearing a small, and I went up to a medium, or I was wearing smalls and mediums, and I went up to a large. I just bought a few pairs, because I figured, you know, I'll take this weight off. Like 10 months ago, I figured that. Well, recently, that underwear has gotten tight. You know, when your underwear's gotten tight, that you've hit some sort of a limit. <laughs> So, and I mean, I am being honest with you about this stuff. Um, the program that I was on, and actually, you know, I've continued it, well, except from when I went off of it, you know, when I was sick. Um, it never ends in that it, the program recognizes, the philosophy of the program recognizes, there's always going to be things coming up in your life, you know? You're always going to have situations that you've never encountered before, or suddenly uh, you're going to start dealing with things that you haven't dealt with in years, you know, things like that. I always say to people who go on the program, you know, I hope that you don't have an experience like I did because I went on the program and by golly, I stuck to it to the letter the entire time till I lost my weight, you know, and then you um, transition and go back to all, you know, normal foods, but you've learned how to eat by then. So, um, you know, I was doing really well, but I had friends and I knew of other people who would, um, sort of fall off the wagon to a greater or lesser extent, uh, some of them falling off and the wagon rolling over them back and forth several times. And the thing is that then they had to deal with what it was, or they had the opportunity to deal with, you know, what? why is it that I fell off the wagon? But see, when I was doing my program originally, I just, I, I just had a sheer stick to itiveness stuck to it. And I think there were a lot of things that I did not have to deal with. Um, I will say it's a really easy program to stick to. Or let me say it's a very simple program. Uh, whether or not it's easy to stick to depends on whether or not you're following uh, what you're supposed to do as far as lifestyle changes and um, support and stuff like that. But anyway, so, you know, what am I doing? So I won't go on and on here because I did not prepare what I'm going to say. I'm just standing here talking to you. And after a day of helping my daughter with her toddler, um, she's, um, my daughter's pregnant and Oh golly, she's been so sick with the pregnancy. And she was well or much closer to well for two or three days. And then today, uh, she just kind of bottomed out again. And um, so it's been a long day. I'm tired. But I, this is my day one getting back on program. And I wanted to get on here on day one and share with you that I'm doing this. Um, I've shared a few times, you know, that, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, tightening things up. I'm going back on program for a little while, things like that. No, right now I am going on program. And my plan is, even though I've um, got about 15, that's one five <laughs> pounds that, um, I, I need to get rid of. I think I'm going to shoot for 20. We'll see how that goes. Um, and I wanted to share that with you because, you know, I'm going to get on here every day and let you know how things are going. Uh, they may not go smoothly. I may fall off that wagon and, and get run over <laughs> a few times. I may throw myself off the wagon, but my intention is to get back on. You know, um, 
we have a tendency to sometimes we'll tell people, oh yes, I'm going to start this new endeavor. And then, you know, you never mention it again because you gave it up shortly after you started. And then other times you're gonna start something new, but you don't wanna tell anyone in case it doesn't work out, right? Because you don't want to appear however, you know? Like somebody who doesn't stick with things or someone who couldn't do it or someone who's a failure, or, you know, all the kinds of thoughts you have. You don't want to embarrass yourself in front of people. I'm willing to embarrass myself. Uh, more so, though, I my hope and my plan is to follow through with this, because I am sick and tired of, you know, like having Dunlap disease, where my stomach's Dunlapsed over my jeans um, and, and having, you know, looking muffin top. Um, I didn't have any of that like a little around a year ago. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And I do have a plan, which is um, my daughter happens to be my health coach. And I've told her this is what I'm doing. And she's helping to hold me accountable. And I'm going to, we have webinars with our program um, every week, once a week. And I am going to get back on listening to those because they really do give you a, kind of buoy you up and help you to understand you're not alone in this. And there are other people going through this and they bring up a lot of the positivity of the program, you know, so it helps you to feel better about a lot of things, you know, because sometimes we have a tendency to maybe have pity parties. Um, oh, I can't eat this and I can't eat that. Uh, the fact is, I can eat anything I want, but I need help in making healthy choices so that I don't eat anything I want because that's what I've been doing for the last few months. Now, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I ate yesterday. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how, I am gonna tell you, cause this is how bad things got for me. Oh, but first, let me let me go back. Okay, I, so I said I had a plan, you know, my daughter, health coach, accountability, um, education and support from the webinars, my life book, um, which is, oh, I'll show it to you tomorrow. It's basically like a journal and an educational resource put together to help move one along in healthy habits in changing a lifestyle. Um, and then we also have a support page on Facebook and I'm, I'm going to become more active in that. Now, I am a health coach. I have clients. How can I, how can I not do the right thing? I mean, I've got to do the right thing, and the right thing is to pull myself together here and deal with the problems that have caused me to put on, you know, an extra 15 or 20 pounds. Okay, what I ate yesterday. So, um, sit down. This is like epic, okay? I decided, um, I am going to eat whatever I want and just fulfill all the cravings. <sighs> okay, so I went to, uh, now I happened to have a doctor's appointment over near the Dairy Queen. So it was very convenient. I didn't have to drive across town. So I uh, went into, the, or the, you know, drive through in the Dairy Queen and no, I did not get a large sundae. I could have. I got a medium with double hot fudge, double marshmallow, and whipped cream. And I had them put it in a blizzard cup rather than those see-through plastic things so it wouldn't overflow while I was eating it. Um, 
I ate that in the car. And then it happened that just a few blocks away, on my way home, um, I didn't have to go out of my way, was at Chick-fil-A. And I thought, whoa, they have those thick brownies there. And then I thought, well, you know, they also have strawberry ice dreams. It's like a sundae, you know, with strawberry sauce. So um, I ordered a brownie and I ordered, well, I thought I ordered one ice dream and two strawberry sauces. So I'd have double strawberry. But what ended up coming was two ice dreams and each one had regular strawberry sauce. Now, I didn't particularly care for the ice dreams but I went back to a habit that I used to have when I was really heavy. Here, I'll show you a picture or some pictures of when I was really heavy. That's me. That's me. 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 No, I'm not going back there. But during that time in my life, if I, you know, if I was eating something because of a craving, I, and it didn't taste like what I was craving, it wasn't, you know, exactly the thing I was looking for, I would keep eating it sort of hoping that, that, some, that it would strike me that, yes, this is what I was craving. I mean, that's crazy, but uh, I did a lot of that, and, and you could see uh, I was wearing it all. <laughs> anyway, so I ate both of those strawberry ice creams, even though I didn't really care for them. Okay, then, okay, wait, I went one more place on the way home. Oh, okay, I was having trouble remembering this because it was not sweets. Okay, they have this place called Huey Magoo's that just opened up like in the last few weeks. And I drove through there and I got their hand breaded chicken finger sandwich with their special sauce. And um, I'm sure the sauce alone had hundreds of calories. But anyway, no, I didn't get french fries with it. Um, I did, however, get a, a sugar cookie. Anyway, so, you know, I ate all of that. I, I wait, waited till I got home and walked the dog, and then I ate that instead of eating it in the car. Um, it was too messy to eat in the car, frankly. Okay, so I really still wanted something else. But by then, it was already, I don't know, seven in the evening or maybe even a little late, maybe it was eight, even though it was still light out, I was just too tired to go out and get anything else. I mean, I just fell into bed. I was, you know, probably like just about in a food coma. So after having spent, you know, two and a half years, just really, you know, really having made so many changes, all of a sudden, everything went haywire. Now, did it have to have gone that much off? I, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, of course, but I really didn't realize that I was putting on as much weight as I was until my underwear got tight. <laughs> um, now, no, I have not bought larger size clothes. I had two skorts that were, I had worn so often they were getting a little bit ratty and I got two new ones and I did get a larger size, but I mean, I got a size large instead of a medium or a small. Um, <clears throat> but they're those Columbia brand and they're cut kind of small anyway, but, um, they were also a little bit longer than what I usually get. And I just thought, you know, heck, I'm almost 70. I probably don't need to be wearing these really short mini skirts <laughs> quite so much. Anyhow, so 
you know, if you can relate to any of this, maybe maybe it's of interest to you. Oh, by the way, when I first went on the program, it had been after years of exercising so much because I thought I would be able to outrun my fork. And, you know, I mean, I had a lot of muscles. In those pictures I showed you, I had muscles underneath all that fat. Well, now, you know, because of quarantine and everything, I, you can see, you know, I, I mean, I still have some muscles there, but I have a lot of hangy skin that um, I didn't have before. It's okay, you know, I'll start working on that after a few weeks, but yeah, so I just, okay, here I am. I just wanted to share it with you. I thought, well, heck, you're still in a size eight. It's not like you're in a size 18. Um, but you know what? My 15 or 20 pounds that I want to lose is like somebody else's 80 or 100 or 200 pounds. Um, it's both of us need to make a lifestyle change. And that's the part that takes work. The eating part is so simple. It's the mindset that takes commitment, establishing a reason why that's really, really meaningful, that's so meaningful that it helps to pull us back to, yes, I do want to make these changes. and to actually working on making the changes. Um, I shared, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. I shared on my Facebook page today. Today is May 14th, 2021. And I shared a quote from James Clear, who wrote Atomic Habits. And it was basically about, if you wanna change your life, don't, you know, decide, okay, I'm gonna change my whole life, you know, and just change everything, make changes everywhere. He said, start with one habit. And when you make changes and establish this new one habit, it's going to have an effect on everything else. And, you know, so what I'm doing is I'm, eating according to an established plan that also involves the things I mentioned with a, you know, a health coach with accountability, support, education, um, and all those other things. So, however long it takes, I'm, I'm going to do this. And you know what? Uh, I could have a hot fudge sundae if I want to, but I've decided I'm not going to because I'm one of those people that once I get a little bit of it, um, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop because the cravings are so strong that I want to satisfy them. So I'm going to stay away from stuff like that. And you know what? After I lose the weight that I want to lose, I can and I will indulge every once in a while in things, but the point is that not like I did yesterday and not several times a week like I was doing. And I will learn how to deal with the root causes of the problems that made me feel like, oh, I just need to feel good. Just, I just feel good right now. I just gotta get through right now. There are other ways to do it than hot fudge sundaes <laughs> and, you know, hand breaded chicken fingers swimming in sauce. So I just want to share that and uh, please say a prayer for me and, uh, you know, I'll come back on tomorrow and let you know how the day goes and I will show you my life book tomorrow. God bless you.